Hickok 45. Thought we'd try the Browning BLR over here on range two. At some of those fairly challenging targets from a standing position. So, shoot it. Now, I've got to reload magazines, you know, because it just holds four in the magazine. All right. Let's start out on that red plate over there and see if we can pop it. I guess I missed it. Yeah, not even that time. And since it's a hunting rifle primarily, I set up a pig over there. Let's try it. <laughs> it's 308, so it hits hard. All right, let's try those little squares uh, with it. Uh, uh, maybe a little overly ambitious, but I'm going to try it. The sights seem to be pretty well on. If I had to leave a couple of them standing, so be it. But I'm going to try to pop them. Ooh, got that one. Try that big one. Oh. Didn't count my shots. One, two, three. Oh, that's right. Four shots. Okay. I was, uh, I was thinking I had another one. So, pretty interesting uh, rifle, I'll have to say. As I say, I'm more of a traditionalist when it comes to a uh, lever gun. And these came about around, I don't know, 1960 or along in there. So, they don't go back to the Wild West or anything. Not, not this lever gun. Now, you can top it off and get five in it, but it, you know, by the time I do that, I've wasted time. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and get four. All right. Okay, now I'll try to get that tall one. <laughs> All right. Let's try a lower one. Nice. And left. I'll try a couple more shots at, at it. Maybe I'll go to the other one. That helps sometimes. Change targets. Yeah, sights are uh, pretty good shape, I think. Big old 308. Not many 308 lever guns on the planet. You know? <laughs> and we talked about that in the other video. How one of the claims to fame, of course, is you can fire these sharp point bullets in it. All right. Doesn't mean you'll hit, right? All right. <sighs> Take a deep breath. I'm gonna hit uh, go for the black one on the right. Oh. one all right <laughs> I got a round left let's try that two liter all right yeah, I just have four shots but you know if your sights are on yeah, it's not all that bad as you know for hunting it really doesn't matter, four is plenty. Uh, so it is a hunting rifle primarily. Could be used for other things, I guess, but. And if it were my rifle, I would have a couple of extra magazines, but uh, I didn't take the time to order any or get any for, for these videos. All right, let's try a cinder block. There's a cement block down there. Put one on it if we can. Red plate. <laughs> Knocked the heck out of it, didn't it? 
Hey, look at these guys right here. I think I just have a couple left. That one tried to attack, didn't he? <laughs> there was one more mag in and finish all these uh, characters off. Well, I'm not too uh, displeased with uh, a few hits there. So, all right. Pretty interesting rifle. And by the way, we also appreciate Federal furnishing this ammo and the support of SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute, sdi.edu. It's great to have them on board. And don't forget talongungrips.com. You know I love Talon Grips. And we also appreciate the help we get from Battlestar. So we uh, get help from a lot of people. And it's great to be able to just uh, order a gun like this uh, from Buds and they would show up and shoot it and try it out and everything. Now, if I need to load again, I'm in trouble. I'm pretty dumb. I'm a really bad shot because <laughs> all I have to do is hit that two liter right there and go over and put another one on the red plate. Got him. And since I have a couple more, let me try him again. Try him one more time. Right. Finish on a hit. Yeah, I just thought uh, it's a hunting rifle. It's supposed to be really accurate. And of course, that's uh, when you're standing and shooting. You know, it's uh, it's always going to be more accurate than the shooter, but. Uh, uh, feels good, and uh, well, I tell you what, uh, I never would have thought I would uh, have really much fondness at all for for the BLR. It's been around a long time; I've been aware of it, but again, I'm uh, I'm pleasantly surprised and, and and a little bit surprised that I like it as much as I as I do. Not to say I would buy it, but it's it's a nice rifle. And right out of the box, the sights are right on too. So so that was nice. So anyway. We didn't take more than an hour, did we? And we got all the targets, so uh, can't argue with that. Glad you came along on this pleasant evening to help me enjoy this rifle.